So today I'm just going to show you a few simple tricks that you can do at home if you have a little one that struggles with a bit of flu or a chest infection. Alright, so what you do is you can make your baby comfortable either on a bed or on your lap. Sometimes it is easier on your lap and you do what you can. Alright, what you want to start to do is you want to make your hand as hollow as this and then you're going to percuss the lung. You make a nice loose wrist and you're going to percuss an area for three to five minutes. Okay, so with a small one you do in the front here and there and then you're going to do on the side there, on the back there, there and on this side. Okay, um, if the child's a little bit bigger you can divide it in half half so at the top on the right side on the top at the um, on the top of the left side at the bottom of the right side and the bottom of the left side things to remember don't percuss over the spinal cord and don't percuss over the tummy so you can literally feel the rib line and try to stay within the rib line don't go over to the tummy area so when you're <laughs> so when you're here you feel the rib line and then you percuss just above it all right, so I'm just quickly going to show you the different areas. So this is my little one, Andrew, and he has a little bit of a, a post-nasal drip. Uh, obviously, he doesn't want to lie like that, so let's try to see if he's going to lie on his tummy. And then it's quite nice and hard, but the babies tend to enjoy it. If you have a one-year-old, you can rather tuck them and snuggle them in a blanket and then try to percuss them there. to lie flat you can even try this lying down is ideal but you know kids you never know you can even do this hollow hand if you can be on a gimbal it makes the rhythm a bit easier and kids really like they like this feeling you can go quite hard Make a nice loud noise with the hand and then just continue. So this will be and then if you have a bigger kid and your both hands can fit into onto the chest, you can do this. remember always do this at least 30 minutes after meal time and make sure your baby is nice and hydrated keep well